guys, and we are back. It's the ZZ Mill Show. Thank you for locking in. I don't know what is going on here, but anyway, today we have, I don't know why I'm so excited about this episode. Should I tell you why? Because I just feel like I'm going to have a chat. I feel like I'm going to have a chat with two guys about, about cheating. Now, obviously, we've seen everything that's been going on on social media with Quavo. We don't know if Quavo cheated, but everyone's assuming that he cheated because she said that he, well, Swede said that um, he was shared the intimacy with another woman. And then, obviously, the whole Derek Jackson guy, everything has been blown up on the internet with him cheating, et cetera, et cetera. And obviously, it's a constant, it's a constant topic that goes on on social media about men cheating. So I thought, why not? get a serial cheater on. And then I've got um, Sarah Garvey, who is a social commentator, like myself, um, who can give, who is, he's quite controversial, but um, he's gonna give some stats and some logic behind it all, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. So we've got, introduce yourself. This is um, serial cheater number one over here. <laughs> he's reformed, he said, he's a reformed cheater. He no longer does that because he's in a better place in life. Isn't that what they all fucking say? Anyway, so introduce yourself. The smoke started already. I'm Rich. Rich. What's going on? First of all, thank you for coming on and sharing your story because I don't actually, I don't, I don't know if you know what you're doing. I don't think you know what you're actually doing. Like, I don't, I don't think, like, you're laughing because you know what's about to happen. I don't think you understand what you're doing right now. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm fully aware. Okay, brilliant. And now we, ha and we have Sarah Garvey. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call you Garvey. Call and me Garvey, yeah. It's fine. You're a social commentator. I'm I'm very aware of you. You're very controversial, like myself. There you go. But you say stuff like Tommy Robinson should be protesting. Of course. Everyone has a right to protest. Well, I don't I don't see the problem. So yeah, so yeah, check out his page. Very smart, very intelligent. You know, he doesn't just say things, he backs it up with the stats. There so that's go. what we like. There you go. Um, and that's what you're going to be bringing us today. So that's what I'm going to try. Gonna basically, try. I put a post saying about mm. um, any serial cheaters out there, come on the show, we would love to have a talk. Yeah. And you basically said that you do not believe that men, or actually you didn't even say you believe. Was you it said, me that, you didn't I, say yeah. that. You said that men are not supposed to be one woman. Like research shows that men are actually I put not up, supposed to be. I put up two different types of research that shows that you know, men's testosterone levels in relationships are different to when they are outside of relationships mm -hmm. and maybe testosterone and high levels of testosterone could be the reason for men's cheating. Not my, not, not my research though. But, and you also said that men, are, you don't, the research shows that men are not supposed to probably be with one woman. That's what the research shows. Okay, and, and why is that? Um, all right, so, <laughs> so here's the thing now, okay, so, there's a book, right? There's a book called Out of Eden, right. yeah, by a guy called David P. Barash. Mm -hmm. And in that book, um, he says some interesting stuff, yeah? And he says, basically, look, human beings are mammals, yeah? 9% of mammals, only 9% of mammals are monogamous, right? right? Only, and he also says, we are also apes, right? 29% of apes are monogamous. Then he goes into, um, prior to Western colonization, prior to the Western imperialism, 83% of the rest of the world were living in some kind of polygamous, polyamorous, polygynous type relationship. And so the relationships that we find ourselves having now in the Western world are very monogamous. But then he's asking, are those natural to us given that we're mammals, given that we're apes, and given that prior to w these Western ideal values. So how do we know that we're not in that percentage? What do you mean? Because you said 29%, or what did you say? The 29%, 29% yeah. are, right. um, are supposed to be monogamous relationship. Mm -hmm. So do, are we in that 29%? We could be, but, but then don't... looking at what's going on right now, right? People say, men cheat, men cheat, men cheat, looking at what's going on right now. I would say that we're more polygynous or polygamous than we are monogamous. So do you think it's down due to maybe, like you said, society, religion as well, mm -hmm. even though like in the Bible they had bare wives, mm -hmm. but now with marriage and religion and everything like that, Western society, do you mm -hmm. think that's the reason why we are, why people think we're supposed to be in monogamous relationships? I think so. I think we've been sold a lie uh, to, to, to some degree. I think we've been sold a lie. And I think the lies that people tell each other are very interesting for me. Like men tell each other lies, women tell each other lies and men lie to the women, right? So a man will say, listen, 
A man knows whether he's monogamous or not, you know. A man knows whether he's, he's built for doing the whole monogamy thing, okay. right? And so he'll go into a relationship with a woman knowing that he's not really built for monogamy and lie to her. Similarly, a woman will know that the man that she's with ain't built for monogamy either, right? She will know and she'll be like, no, 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 my, my, my man's faithful and da, 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 da. At night time, when we both lay our heads down on our pillows, yeah, we know who we are. And I'm telling you, human beings are lie to themselves very well. They lie to themselves. So you're basically saying that women, we know when... See, see this is... Okay, this is what, I, this is what I've said as well, okay? And I just... In this... <laughs> it's so bad because I know that at the end of this episode, I'm probably going to be called a pick-me. But I just feel... I feel like I'm realistic when it comes to men and women and cheating and the options that men have nowadays mm. that how accessible it is how we, how accessible women mm. are for men mm. social media etc cetera, etc cetera. but i think that there are certain men like you said that like i know if i was to probably get with a rapper athlete mm. high paid men men that are re, um the top tier men or whatever they're called mm. um I know that more than likely, not saying every one of them, that they probably, there's a high, high, possibility, yeah, high possibility that they're yeah. going to end up, mm. there's going to be some sort of infidelity mm. in our relationship, okay? Because there's too many options. Um, all these high men, like these high paid men or the, the top tier men that every woman wants, mm -hmm. there's too many women just throwing themselves at them. And, and that's where I come from. Um, so we're going to go to Rich, okay? <coughs> Thank you. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> so... You have basically said you're a reformed cheater. Mm -hmm. You no longer no words. You, you don't you don't cheat no more. Mm -hmm. Okay, but in your past relationships, you cheated a lot. All right. So first and foremost, you called me a serial cheater. I don't like that term. Okay, but you cheated a lot though. I've cheated previously. I can't quantify it. What do you mean you can't quantify it? Because I wasn't sat there counting. So, so that the fact that you can't quantify it means that you were cheating a lot. Listen, I'm 32. You know, so. The years in which I've been in relationships, it's been over, it's spent uh, quite a bit of time. So in those times, I don't know when, how. So when you was in these relationships, mm -hmm. how many um, did you cheat more than once? Yeah, mo pro probably, more than likely. More than likely. And was it with one person or multiple different people? So like I said, it's different times, different people, so... Mm -hmm. Like you're, to be specific, I'd have to really, you'd have to say, yo, when you was doing this, when you was doing that, who was you doing it with and all of that. But what I want to make clear is like, the reason why I even reached out to say, yo, do you know what? I'm willing to have this discussion is because I feel like as men in general, if a woman is willing to listen, we're willing to, you know, explain our infidelity. Yeah. Okay. But certain time, we're not listened to to be understood. It's just, okay, you want to just dismiss it regardless without working on whatever we've told you. You know, I don't subscribe to Sarah's, you know, his studies that he's done, but... i never done the studies. Or that he's quoting, you know. I can definitely see some correlation between it, yeah. but I can't say for sure, oh, yeah, you know, I feel like I can't be with one woman and blah, blah, blah. But you've shown that, though. You've shown that you can't be one woman. And I've shown that the reason, well... Have you, like have you ever had like a successful relationship where you haven't cheated? A few. Okay. A few, yes. But what, 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 what I would really, really, really like to pinpoint is, a, you know, I'd like to make clear as well. I'm not here as a guru to explain why men are the way we are. No, I'm here to talk about my personal experience yeah. and why it shaped me to become the person that I was. And even through the understanding of why I was that type of person, I was able to come out of that come out of it man's making it sound like he was in some sort of um <laughs> some, 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 Listen. some like some sort of therapy okay cool and you see you see I that word that you just used there therapy like it's been key because for me and for a few people that i know therapy has been something that we've actively um partaken so in. are you saying that cheating is actually a problem i wouldn't the cheating is not a problem I want to say the reasons why you cheat is the problem. So you're going to link it to some sort of trauma that you've been through? 100%. Oh, give it a rest. Why give it a Come rest? On. Explain to me why I give it a rest. So this Come is what I'm talking on. about. This is what I'm talking what, about. What, yeah? is, what's, what is that got to... Okay, first of all... Mm -hmm. Do you remember when I said about the lies we tell each other? Yeah. We tell ourselves. Yeah. We are very good at lying to ourselves, you know? Do you think that this is a lie? I'm just saying, yeah, like, from what you're saying, bro, I'm not trying to throw you under the bus, yeah, but what you're, from what you're saying, you've, got, you've done it in your past. Yeah. 
You're probably not built for monogamous relationships, bro. There's no probably about it, bro. I've just told you, like I've told Zizi, sorry. I've been in successful monogamous relationships. How like, many? I've done it. I can't, qu I don't, like, I'm not saying, you I don't must, know. You must know how many relationships you've been in where you haven't cheated. You, you must know. But then I would have to talk about how many relationships I've been in, how many, like, all of that is not, I'm trying to give you the reasons why. You're not trying to understand the reasons why. Okay, so you're, you're trying to just dismiss it okay, and then okay. quantify how I've, many times. Okay, I apologise. Okay. You're saying the reason why you've cheated is because of trauma. Okay. What type of trauma? The trauma of, you know, like, and again, my experience, yeah? I'm going to go back to my first encounter with a serious relationship at a young age. And even, even so, it's like, retrospectively thinking, I wish that certain stuff that I've been through in those early stages of my life, I actually stopped, waited until I was old enough, mature enough to understand certain things. Because I feel like, as a man, growing up, there are certain things that if you experience them in the beginning stages of your life, it will impact you differently than if you experience them in the latter stages of your life. So are, you, so are you saying that you think that cheating is down to maturity and immaturity? Yeah, basically. No, that's not what I'm saying. But that's basically what you just said. That's not what I said. You said that if you experience them later on in your life, you'd probably be able to take... Uh, I never said the cheating, you talk about trauma. Okay, so you, but you're Listen, cheating hold on, you talk, <laughs> the cheat, Wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to continue, hold on. Wait, wait, I just wait, want to say wait, something wait, to Sarah here. Listen. Wait. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Don't come here and do Jeezy's job, please. I'm not, bro. I'm no, just... because you gave her bro. a point that she didn't even make. No, so because I need you. Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to understand, bro. No, wait, wait, wait. First of all, I'm trying to understand, bro. First of all, I'm trying to understand. First of all, no one's going to do my job. Second of all, we are probably quite similar in the way that we think. So when he said it, that's why I said, yeah, because you're basically saying cheating is the rustling. The rustling is killing me, guys. It's really killing me. It's really distracting me, please. Okay. Um that you're, you're basically saying that maturity is to do with cheating. No. Whatever, okay, so what are you saying? That's not what I said. We talked about, we were talking about trauma. Yeah, I said, is cheat, you, you basically said trauma is linked to cheating. And then yes. you went and started talking about the stuff that you experienced in your life. Yep. If you experienced them earlier on, you would be a different person. Meaning that if you was a different person, you wouldn't have cheated. So they are linked. I would have probably understood it differently. Um, yeah, so it's linked. No, because what you're saying is because somebody who experiences that, um, those things later on when they're more mature, when they're more, you know, they're in a, um, you know, a monogamous relationship and what have you, can sit there and probably sit there and say, you know what, I understand why this has happened, I can understand it for what it was and I can move on. I'll say this, look, there are 45 year old men that cheat, they're mm -hmm. mature. Do you get what I'm saying? That I, I don't think personally cheating's got anything to do with maturity. No, I so don't. now it's not about like we're being fixated on cheating and maturity. So you're, I'm talking, talking, you're about talking about the trauma. What you experience in the early stages of your life. Okay, so why? Okay, let's just okay, let's let's get to the point. Why have you cheated in the past? Why have I cheated? Just in get the to past? the point because you're doing a lot of this explanation stuff. Why have I cheated in the past? I've cheated in the past because I felt like um, the first instance in which I cheated, I'd say like the first girl that I fell for, mm. essentially. You know, I'm walking around school high as a kite, thinking, yeah, you know, I'm in love and all of that, because I wear my heart on my sleeve, so it's always been that way. Mm -hmm. Then you get a phone call from your little cousin to say, hey, um, are you still going out so-and-so? And I'm like, yeah, why? Oh, I've just seen her with so-and-so. Oh, so that's that the trauma? So that's the first instance. Okay. That's the first instance okay. of raw. So at this young age, like, girls can step out on you, and you have to deal with it, because from there, they're on in school as trivial as it may sound you know i'm thinking what 14 15 years of age in secondary school you're getting teased because people are talking about yeah she was doing this or yeah she was doing that and then you become the butt of the jokes but luckily for me because of my stature in school i didn't like it wasn't that deep if anything she got the the, the worst end of it you know you can imagine secondary school everybody's calling you a skit and all of that so that's what that is but at that stage it didn't affect me in the sense of, all right, I'm never gonna trust girls again, blah, blah, blah. The next stage is my next relationship, right. if it happens again, mm -hmm. which it did. Right. And when I say my next relationship, I'm talking about I was 18, probably 19. Mm. It did. So then you start to pre a pattern, you start to say, right, what's going on? How did that happen? Then if it's a case of 
you've done everything that you know to do and you've done, why did she cheat then? Why did she do that? Why did she step out? And then if you can't find the answers to that, you start to build a wall. And then how you deal with that is on you as an individual. How I dealt with it, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't give full trust to women. So then you kind of, was it a type of thing where you thought, before they hurt me, I'm going to hurt them? Sometimes it became like that. And it only became like that once you identify, or once I identified certain traits in her that I didn't like, and I explained to her I didn't like. So, and that's another thing that's key with men and women, like, a man can explain something or express something to a woman and you'll just dismiss it. We've got, just because it doesn't make sense to you, you'll dismiss it. So, Garvey, <laughs> yeah. do you think he has a point that a lot of men maybe, um, they've experienced women stepping out of them, women doing certain things, and then that's why they now think, I'm going to be the person to, you know... It's possible. I mean, my last relationship was 10 years. I was 10 years relationship with my son's mum, yeah? And she was the one who was the one who was, uh, who the infidelity came from never came from me, right. right? And so, you know, it's hard to take as a man. Do you know what I mean? When your woman steps out on you and does all this kind of stuff. But for me, it hasn't made me think, okay, cool. Um, if and when I get into another relationship, I may cheat on them. What it's, what it's made me say to me is like, okay, we're humans. And I think there's conversations that we don't have as men and women, yeah? Okay. So the conversations that I don't think men and women, a lot of men and women aren't ready to have, right. is saying, listen, babes, I love you, yeah? But hear what? We're in our 30s now, and if we're gonna be together, we're gonna be together forever until we're like 84. That's like 50 years. Mm. And in that 50 years, your vagina is the only vagina that I can see. Right. I don't know how possible that is. I'm not saying it isn't possible, do you get what I'm saying? But it's a tough conversation to have. Like, I can say, listen, I love you, yeah? And I, I wanna be with you and I wanna build this life. But to, for me to think, are you the only woman that I'm ever gonna be for the next 50 years of my life? I don't know how realistic that is. But that's just not a conversation that many people are really willing, willing to have. Go on. I think, I think, I think that's, that's almost a cop-out because it's Wait like, a minute, I don't understand how you keep saying things are a cop-out when you're the cheater. Listen, the reason why I'm saying it's so a what, cop-out so why is have because you, why have you been to cheating sit then? there, you're preempting cheating. I've never preempted cheating. Yeah, but you, I've you've never cheated. Preempted it. He, has, he hasn't Regardless. cheated. He's so been more realistic with his life. How can he be realistic if because he's he not living cheated. in his truth? He's not living in his truth. But he hasn't cheated. But so he's not living in his truth so if that's what he's telling me. But you keep saying everything he said so far that is a good explanation as to why men might cheat. That is my truth, bro. No, that's based on like, I'm talking about, I, I, like I said, I'm talking about my lived in experiences. And whether you agree, whether you agree, I'm pretty sure there's going to be so many people that's watching this that will agree. No, because... To what, an extent, no, definitely. Because, no, no, 100%. because it doesn't make sense that you are the person... To you, I, that, I definitely okay, agree it doesn't make sense It doesn't to you. make sense. You're saying, he's basically saying, which I've heard from a lot of men, the thought of maybe having one, one poswali for the rest of their life is very daunting, yeah? And, the, you know, men like to experience new vagina, blah de blah de blah You're saying, I'm no, that's, that's a cop-out. That. What I'm saying is no man ever it's goes realistic. into a relationship to go and say, oh, I'm thinking that way. Nobody. Like, why would you say, because... Before, and again, maybe it depends on the type of life you've lived. Been there, done that, bought so many t-shirts. Do you understand? It's like, it's like, I'm not going to go into, say, oh, I'm going to now choose to marry you, choose to be in a, you know, committed relationship with you, but hey, if we're going to do that, know that I'm going to step out on you because hey, I'm going to be with you forever. The thing is, you can be in a committed relationship. This is the thing. You can be in a committed relationship. Yeah, a committed relationship doesn't mean a monogamous one. Right, so if we look at the stats for um, marriage, right, okay, half of marriages fail. That's fifty percent of marriages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of that fifty percent, um, eighty percent of divorces are initiated by women. Okay. Right, so half of marriages fail, and it's like this: if I said to you, Zizi, you're going to go on holiday, the best holiday destination that you've ever been on is all expenses paid. You get on the plane, but you've got a fifty percent chance of getting to that destination. Are you going on the plane? No. Why not? Because there's a 50% 50 50 chance that I'm not going to get on it's it. It's a 50% chance. Yeah, but I, that's, too, that's too risky for me. Right, but I'm saying, this is what monogamous relationships are like. They're 50-50. And the thing is, people are not willing to have the conversation to say, you know what, boom, I love you, yeah, but can we just work something? 
Let's, let's work something out between us that we can be happy with. So wait, as it stands, who, who uh, according to stats, I'm aware that men cheat more than women. It's not, it's not by like a landslide. It's not by that much, no. Yeah, but as it stands, men cheat more than women, mm. okay? And... No, but we, we have to understand, it's also admittance. Okay, cool, yeah. People that would admit to saying, yeah, I've cheated. So, so do, you, do you believe that men are supposed to be one woman? I, I believe there are men that can be with one woman. And what type of man do you think is with one woman? Psh, I don't know. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. But I'm, there are men that, I mean, my, my uncles, I've got like, do you know what I mean? I, I know people that are with one woman, but I also know men that are with one woman, but every now and again, they might step out. I know more men like that than I do men that are just committed to one woman. So Richie, when you've, when you've stepped out on uh, whoever you've with, yeah, do you, do you love them? I, I, well, I probably loved them at the time, yeah. Okay, so that's what a lot of women don't understand. A lot of women don't understand how men can cheat but say that they love that person. Because, listen, like, again, talking about myself here, like, sometimes it's just, it's just, it's just an act. Yeah, okay, great. Right. I'm, I'm glad. To, yeah, so uh, us as women, we don't understand that it can just be an act because we, we, like, you're built we differently. Yeah, exactly. So explain to us how it's just an act. The fact that we're built differently, that's it. You'd it's have, just no, that you'd simple. Have, you'd have to be a man. It's just yeah, that's, that simple. That's, that's what we don't get, because us as women, we, we always connect cheating to, or having sex with someone, there has to be like some sort of emotional connection, or you really like that person. But I've, in my comments yesterday, I did see a lot of men saying, women don't get that having sex sometimes with another woman is just sex. It's nothing more than that. It's not an emotional connection. Nope. It doesn't mean I love them. It doesn't mean I want to be with them. Nope. It's literally just, we're going to have sex, that's it. And that's what we as women... And do you think that, because we don't ever understand it, that's why there's always going to be a yeah, problem? Yeah, I mean, you've seen as women, right? You've seen, a, you've seen a man have a hot woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's cheated with some busted... And you're like, her! Like, yeah, and yeah. women are like, how could you... Cheat? Because you're not seeing it. You don't understand. It was just an act. It wasn't the fact that he loved her. It wasn't the fact that he was that... I mean, he was definitely attracted to her to some degree, but it was just... Is, he needs to get his rocks off, innit? Is, is there um, an element of, like, boredom? Like, you're bored with your current girl and you want a bit of excitement? I've, I've personally... I've never stepped out because of boredom. Because I'm not bored. I'm an exciting guy. My life is exciting. Whoever I choose to be with is exciting. So... Like, boredom is not a reason why, but it might just be, it's other things, and it's other things that you've touched on. You women just don't want to understand. Okay, so tell, tell us what the other things are. Touch on, touch on, I think I saw on your post yesterday. You said something about... Options. Uh, options. Okay, correct. So now the, with social media, Okay, mm. there's mm. a lot of options. Mm. Everyone can, you, girls can slide into your DMs. All of that. You can slide into a girl's DMs. You don't even need to go out to meet a girl anymore. So you're saying that you basically lack self-control. No, because now what I'm going to sit there and say is like, do you know how incredibly like insulting it is to tell somebody, oh, you're probably not cheating because you haven't got options? That's life. It's not always the truth because whether you like it or not, even if somebody's the most brought down type of person you'll ever imagine and you're thinking, raw, like, you, I'm surprised you've even got a girlfriend. Remember, their option is they can go brothel. That might be an option for them and they've chose not to do that. But you're dismissing the fact that if they said to you, because you, I think the point was made was, oh, I don't think, if somebody tells me they've been, they're faithful, my, my, my immediate response is to no, say, No, I said oh, that a lot of men option. will claim that they're faithful, but it's because they don't have the option to cheat. There's no girl telling them, no girls are throwing themselves at them, there's no girls in their DMs, they, there's nothing there to even entice them or to test them. So... I don't think that's fair. That's, this is, and, and do you not... Like, I don't think that's fair. The but you're only as faithful as your options. Never. That's that's and this is why I say that's the insulting thing nah. because there's some genuine good, nah. good, good there's guys. Guys that can be monogamous. There's yeah, but I, can... I honestly believe that that is the that those type of guys. A lot of women don't want those guys. So why what do those guys? Why not? What do those guys look like? But they, 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 so the women like my, one of my exes said this to me. He was like. There are men out there that are not going to cheat, but the, the fact of the matter is a lot of women don't want those men. 
Who are those Because those men, are, why, why, those why men are, are the quiet men or the ones that you are like, oh, there's just something about him that I just don't, there's no too edge. Nice. He's, he's too nice, too nice. Right, or he's right, this right. or he's that. And oh yeah, it's just, there's no edge to him. And like when he walks into the room, he doesn't have no presence and da 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 So that's a woman problem then? Of course, of so course. So the woman are now making man cheat because, he's, because he wants an edge. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? This, this is the first You've got to get a man for an edge now because he's got to cheat a little bit. No, I'm saying that there definitely are men that don't cheat, but those are not the those are not the 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 men that women go after naturally because everybody in life wants something that everybody wants hence when it comes to trainers jordans exclusives whatever everyone wants that thing that nobody can get but i was able to get it and i think that's the same thing that happens with women we all go for those type of men that we know bear gala after but he chose me so those type of those type of guys they've got bare options and that's what i'm saying the guys that we are probably going to treat us really good we don't want them because no it's our natural human instinct not to want the You're no doing a disservice to your woman you see, folk can now. You, you know? can, you, can you see how that, 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 that can be traumatic for a guy that you put in that bracket? But you're not in that bracket, so why I'm do you keep not. talking for those people? I'm yeah, well, so I don't fucking fucking care about those guys, okay? <laughs> Stop trying to be like, oh, do you understand how traumatic it can be for those poor listen, guys listen. that have no girls going after them? No, I'll get one I'm of those ones next week. Bought. I'm talking listen, about you, okay? Listen, listen, are, you, are you struggling for girls? Me, yes, yeah. I am. No, you're not. Okay. The lies you, we tell. Exactly. Are you struggling for girls? Are you struggling for girls? <laughs> Evidently not, because you're out here getting pumps left, right, and centre. So. I was younger. Okay, so you're not struggling for girls. So stop talking about these guys. Do you understand no, but how why traumatic though? it can be? Why not? Because I'm. Because you don't know those. You keep. Of course, saying, I know some of the guys. Yeah, like but that. you specifically keep saying I can only talk for myself. So talk yes, for yourself. I don't care I'm about those guys. But I'm talking about the way you dismiss those those, those type of guys. Uh, I can't. What, when I say I don't talk about. I've, talk for other guys, I can't give you the reasons why they behave the way they I'm behave. I'm talking about you, okay? Yeah. So you, what are the reasons that you have cheated? So far, you've not given, you've only given me one explanation, that's trauma, which personally, I think is a cop out. You would think that. Because how long did your trauma last for? It, 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 it lasts for as long as every time you bump into a woman, she, she, she displays those same toxic traits that you identified previously. So or then that why you've do you get from. with her? It's, you, you identify it afterwards. As long as it takes for men to get into a relationship, yeah, you should have put. You should be able to see those red flags from the beginning. Just like men always say to us women, you should see the red flags. Why are you getting into a relationship with a woman that you know is going to cause you trauma, so much trauma that your dick is now in someone else's vagina? Do you not know that after the fact, nobody like I can't meet you and say, all right, do you know what? I know Zizi's going to be this way. Until I get to know you, by the time I've got to know you, maybe it could be a week down the line, it could be a month, it could be a year before I see the real you. Okay, so when did, why did you stop cheating? Why? Because not, not, not necessarily even just the cheating, but it's just the, the, the relationships, just always giving a piece of yourself to somebody else. And then you find out, you know what, this ain't what I thought it was, so therefore I've got to, I've got to take a step back whether it's completely dealing, dealing that person or whether it's, you know, take a break from that relationship. Did you, do you ever, when you, a lot of people are asking, um, do you ever feel guilty? Because I think that's another thing, like women don't understand how you can step out. Like you might, you might have accidentally, or not accidentally, but you might have fallen into something that you shouldn't have fallen into um, and you've known that it's hurt your partner and then you go and do it again. Do you, is there not ever a level of guilt there? I've never, I've never... I've never... You've never been caught? No, I've never been caught. Listen, I'll come and I'll tell you the truth. I'll come and I'll tell you, like, if something's happened... So, wait... <laughs> no, not at all, bro. <laughs> wait, so... Have, have no you... beef over here, brother. <laughs> I'm just making sure. Because I'm just no making sure, bro. like... So, wait, have you told the people... You, you said you've, you, you're you honest. You go home and tell the woman that you've cheated. I've told them before. I've told them, like, you know, at least three different women, you know, yo. And, and do they stay with you? Um, for a period after the fact, and then it's like after the, after that, it's just like yo, it's just not the same, innit? So, so once you've told them, do you go and then do it again? No, because if I've told you, that's either me like identify. Listen, I actually like you. So if I actually like you, like let's be serious. Let's try and you know make this work type of thing. So so you're kind of like going against the theory that once you cheat you're always a cheater because that's another thing that women think once you cheat and if you forgive a man and you stay then it's more than likely he's going to do it again and then maybe it comes back down to if that woman listened to that individual as to the reason why he cheated because you can hear him out and you might just say oh fuck it i don't know, like whatever and 
we carry on with the same fuckery and then he keeps it up and it's a vicious circle. Yeah, but you just you just said earlier that a lot of men cheat just because it's an action, not because but not because there's anything wrong. So and that's the 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 the, the physical is the action. Did you get it? But there's an emotional part of it. That made what, you. If it's, a, if, it's a, if it's a serial if it's, or if it's a yeah, somebody if it's, that if you it's keep like a, matching, an affair or whatever, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but, an affair is definitely an emotional, but he, uh, both of you just said earlier that men can just have sex with someone. Sex it's just an action. Like, yeah, yeah, so yeah, there's not, it's not necessarily because, because there is also that thing that a lot of men cheat and there's, there's nothing wrong at home. They're, they're, right, they're, yeah, they're and, in a perfectly like, happy great man can relate. cheat as well. Yeah, but but this is what I'm trying to say about the this is what I'm saying about the model, the model that we're working with. Yeah, I don't believe it's working. Okay. Like the model what, of relationships. Explain the model that we're working with. The model with of now. relationships of being just a normal, go off into the sunset, man, woman, two point four children. The model that we've been sold is not working, and the statistics show that the model ain't working. Now that's not to say there aren't monogamous relationships that can work. Yeah, but I'm saying the model, the stats show how if you if you were to ask all of your girlfriends, yeah. How many of them have been cheated on? How many would you say? Majority. Majority, yeah. right. So that means, that's not saying the majority of men cheat, but that's saying it, it's happening. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? So the model ain't working, but so when do we get to the point when we say, do you know what? Let's sit down and have a conversation. Like, I'm a man, you're a woman, cool. There's a high probability that I'm probably going to want to have sex with another woman at some point in time in this relationship. Don't mean I don't love you. How viable is that? And when you... <laughs> How viable is it? So then doesn't that just become a, a polygamy then? No, not necessarily. You have, to, you have to tailor make your own relationship. I've always said to people they have to tailor make their own relationship. Yeah, that's one thing I do agree. I do believe that. I'll, I'll, I'll affirm that. Yeah, I yeah, think a lot of relationships relationship. nowadays, we've been, we've been sold like this is what a relationship should exactly. be. Exactly. And we're not, we, we're not actually saying, okay, like you said, this is what works for me actually. Right. I don't mind. You might get, okay, I'm happy for you to get a pass every... 12 months or every 14 months you can like or that's whatever how, every two years or whatever but i think that's because it's linked to women not understanding that men can just have sex and it's just sex but we're never going to understand that because we're not built like that so then how what, how does this work conversations like this we have to understand we have to have these conversations to try and understand one another we have to because the bottom line is like i said the the, the statistics are showing that it's not working like we, we, it's just not working. So, what would your ideal relationship be? Because, because in your in your life, are you single? Yeah, I'm single. You are. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, 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 no, no, because you just said that in your last relationship you didn't step out, so you was faithful ten years, for ten years. Said, ten years, yeah. You was faithful, so so you technically you can do a monogamous I can, relationship. I can do monogamy. Yeah. How old, how old did you when you started? I started when I was thirty. No. 28. Oh, so it was pretty late on in your, 28 not late, but it was, yeah, you were quite mature. Let's say 38, 37, 38, yeah. And you was faithful for all those times? Yep. Now, okay, back to you, Richie, because you're the serial cheater. What do you, what do you class... Just <laughs> <laughs> gunning for you, sir. What, what do you class as cheating? Yeah, no, is it, it predictive? Is that, that's it? No, or is, there's more to it. There's more to it, you know, there's emotional cheating. But what type of cheating did you do the most? When I was young, 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 young rich and living it, you know. You what can't. I mean? You so keep saying young. How old are you now? Thirty-two. And then how long? When was the last time you cheated? Um, when was my last serious? Probably, probably what? When I was probably about twenty-eight. How, how old are you now? Thirty-two. Oh, so it's not that long ago, it's like four years ago. It's long enough, man, trust me. But you haven't been in another relationship since then? I've had a few since then. Oh, and you've been, you've been yeah. paid for? So yeah. do you think it's just a phase that men go, like, it's a, it's a phase and, or, and, and or, 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 wait, did you get therapy, did you say? I've been through therapy, Okay, yeah. so the therapy is what helped you kind of identify your own issues. Yep. And then you was able to kind of then... Be self-aware, be okay, able to right, self-correct right. behaviour, be able to understand behaviour. Mm -hmm. You know, once you understand why you're doing something, you can almost yeah just by understanding it you can you know counteract it prevent it you know so those how, how that's a, that's what that's a actually great i'm glad you said that because i think a lot of men as well both of you can chime in because obviously i'm i'm guessing in those 10 years you, it's not like you didn't face temptation 100 percent i just faced temptation. exactly so i think a lot i think a lot of men as well they basically they don't understand not to put themselves into situations that could lend them to cheating do you get what I mean? Mm. So you go to certain environments where you know there's going to be loads of girls, you know you're not necessarily strong enough to say no, sorry. What, what is that about? 
I mean, what, you, what are we supposed to do? Lock ourselves in the house? <laughs> like, you not put yourself in situations that you're going to end up cheating because you don't just fall no, into somebody. No, but you don't fall into cheating, though. You don't. It doesn't just happen like that. You don't that's fall into that's that's post, but, No, but that's my like, whole point. You don't just fall into cheating. There's no, a, there's no. a process. Right. So at some and that, point, sorry, G, that part of that process is the women that facilitate the cheating. You know, because yeah, there's who some are the men, women who are the men there. cheating with? Who are they cheating with? There's some women Single who are Single women. There. And, do, and do most of the time these women know that they're cheating with these Horse men? Sometimes do. we don't know that. Sometimes we. Huh? We don't. Have you ever cheated with a man? Yeah? Have I ever what? Have you ever been with a man that's been with another person? Not that I'm aware of. Ah, at the time a, or a lie now? now? No, I'm saying not that I'm aware of. At all. Yeah, I've just said not that I'm aware of. So I, I, that's what but I'm saying. But you said that with a smirk, like, you're, like you know you're lying, though. That's, that's the thing. So you, said, you, leave you said it with a smirk. I don't know. Because, because I think that's a pertinent question. No, no, no. Because, yeah, but a lot of us women don't know. Or... What about the ones that do know? Okay, yeah, then that's their business. But I'm also of the narrative that, at the end of the day, I'm not condoning women that get sleep with, mar with men that I'm in a relationship. However... A single woman, her loyalty is not to your girlfriend or to your wife or to whoever. You have entered into that partnership I with that, that person. So if you decide that you want to fuck around with somebody that's single, she don't owe your woman no nothing. Nobody says she does. But exactly. then what's so hypocritical is if you don't pre it, yeah, more time than not, more often than not, sorry, when a woman or when a man that's in a relationship is probably like, you know, he's realised, do you know what? I need to focus on my woman. I need to focus on whatever. When they make that decision and they inform whoever they're cheating with or they just become distant, if you don't notice, that's when they come woman to woman to the woman because now it's a bit of situation here. Do you get it? Yeah, and then I as the woman, you know, you fall for it and some, some women are tactile, so they even do that in the hopes that it's going to break that union and then they're going to slither in. I, yeah, okay, this is not what we're here to talk about today. What? <laughs> So I'm, okay, that's great. Uh, but I'm cool. just like, it's not a single woman's um, place to 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 um, school. But if or they to... have, if they have no accountability for it, like then no, there's but no. You there's should no... have accountability. And we've taken the accountability. No, and like you, I said, you said that but was... some women will know a man is a woman, yeah. And, she and will turns make them on a even more. Beeline for that guy. Yeah, okay, even and more. that's for you as men to be like, no, I'm with somebody. You can't blame it on women because that's your, that means you're weak. So you're weak. If you if just because a woman is making a beeline for you and oh yeah, my God, she was coming after me. That's for you as a man who's in a relationship to be like, no, sorry, I'm with a woman. And that's what I mean about sometimes as men, I do believe that you put yourself in situations where you know you're gonna okay, end, look at, you're look gonna, it's gonna end up. Look at Tiger Woods, right? He's they, he found out they were he's cheating with like how many how many different women. Yeah. Now Tiger Woods is a man who was, had his wife committed. Yeah, and everyone knew. Every single woman in the world knew Tiger Woods had a wife. Yeah. Yeah. Yet and still, he, there was eighteen or something women that said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah I was sleeping with Tiger Woods." Right. They all knew yeah. that this was a married man. That's great, but what? What? But if I married, what's wrong with them? No, that. Yeah, but they're single. That's the whole point. That's my whole point. If my man cheats on me, I ain't got time for any of those girls that he cheated on. They don't owe me nothing. So why, it's, we've made a commitment to each other. Mm. We've sat down, we've, we've, we've done the vows, or we've said we're gonna be in a monogamous relationship. It's not now for you to, another woman is not, should not dictate whether or not you cheat or not. You should be, know that my wife at home or my partner at home, I've made a commitment to her, so I'm gonna be, if that's, that's but a then, Like I said about the lies we tell, yeah. So that's another lie that, like I said, that's another lie that men tell, on women tell to each other. Men know that they're not monogamous or they know that it, it, it's not in them. They know this. But because they, they love this woman and she's been sold the dream of monogamy. She's been sold the dream of monogamy. Men are very happy not being monogamous, you know. I agree with they're that. They're very happy not being monogamous. Yeah, yeah I agree with but that. But women have been sold the dream of monogamy. Right. You lot have been sold it. So we want you, we're like, I love this woman, you know. I love her. I'm going to have to fall in line and get with her. So I'm going to have to lie to her about who I really am, I'd... right? And so now I'm here with you, yeah, baby, smoochy, smoochy, kissy, kissy. But really and truly, I'm not, I am that guy, but I'm also another guy. I, I mean, I do agree with what you're saying. I, you I know do, what I mean? I do believe, I, I believe personally that 
um, naturally, men are not supposed to be one woman. I, I don't think that it's a natural thing for men to do. However, like you said, society has shaped us. And if you decide to get into a relationship where you've agreed that you're only sleeping with each other mm. and you're committed to each other, then you should keep uphold that agreement, okay? But I don't, I don't, I don't believe that it's a natural thing for men. But hence why, so like, so you're gonna have to tailor make your next relationship. Well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah probably I will. But I, I don't think that. But unless I get we'll with talk so after, yeah. <laughs> That like that's why I think that it just it takes long for men to commit to women. Do you get what I mean? Like I could, as in as in, I could meet somebody. I I I very rarely meet any any of my friends or whatever that get with a guy and within the first three months it's a serious situation. Yeah. Right, okay. On the, guy, it's, on the it's, guy's part or huh? on the girl's part. On, 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 the, on, the, on the guy's part. part. Because right, most women will meet a guy and w within like two to three a month. We're like, oh yeah, he's perfect for me. We're gonna get married, and yeah, like even his mom is really nice, and yeah, he does this <laughs> thing, and it's great. Like we're there, we're invested already. Men, it takes you a lot longer, and I think that's because you're always weighing up, like the losses that you're gonna, like men see getting into a relationship as a loss. I don't, I see, I think, I don't think you see it as a gaining thing. No. That's, no, that's no, you're gonna that like, no. you're gonna lose out on like I'm gonna lose out on going out. I'm gonna lose out on girls. Nah, I'm gonna no, lose. No, no. So why did it take you so long? No, no. I said I, before, I was in a ten year relationship. I felt like I gained when I got my woman. I felt like I gained something. Yeah, Come but to find not, out that but, I didn't. But <laughs> at the time, do you know what I mean? Like I felt like I so gained something. She's not someone with your child. Shut up, Mr. Serial Cheater over there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I felt like I gained something at that time. No, but I mean, to get to that point though, when you get into it, you understand you've gained something, but the lead up to getting into that relationship, that's what I'm talking about. Were you talking about the whole, oh, I got a lock off Chantel, I yeah, got a yeah, lock yeah, off Yeah, 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 all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You weigh it up, men weigh it up more than women. Like if the guy that I like, if he told me lock off all your guys now, I'd be like, yeah, cool, done. You lot, if you're like, well, you need to stop talking to this girl, it's all like, yeah, okay. You, you, it's like you've got to do it gradually. And that's why I just don't think it's a, it's a thing that you actually want to be a part of. No, what, in, what, generally? I said, I, I, listen, I'm not going to disagree with you. Like I said, I think a lot of people are lying to themselves. And I think we need to revisit the model that we have. I think we need to revisit the relationship model that we currently have. That's my, that's my, I really do. That's my personal. If you're going to do all of that, you're going to have to look at it all as a, on, a, on a whole, you know, and that's the, the mind frame of, of, of your modern man the mind frame of your modern woman, mm. you know, society, pressures, all of that, because there's so many things that, that create that mix that, you know, will, will determine what direction your relationship goes in. So what do you do now to prevent yourself from cheating? I don't get myself in situations that... But that's the fuck what I just said earlier. You just proved my point. What's that? You just said, I don't get myself into situations that are going to... You didn't even I'm... let me finish what I was going to yes. say. What Go, what was you going to say? I was going to say, I don't get myself in situations that I don't want to be in no more. So that's when I'm talking about relationship-wise. So relationship-wise now... So you're I'm basically at... always bl you're blaming it on the woman. I definitely... I, not, I don't blame it all on the woman, but I definitely put some blame there because, like I said... So you're saying every time you've cheated is because some woman show, sh uh, showcased some characteristics that co have caused you trauma in the past and that's led you to cheat. So why don't you just break up with her? And I have, like I said, I have. After you cheated? After I've cheated, because that's the... And that's where, right or wrong, and I put, this is what I'm saying, I'm here to put my hands up. I'm here to say there's... I'm not justifying or saying, yeah, I was right to do what I did. I'm just telling you I did it and this is why I did it. Do you get it? Because you're not, you don't have to accept it, but you just have to say, all right, cool. I get you what you're saying in, in, in no, that I regard. I don't get what you're saying. You don't get what I'm saying. No, in that you're, you're basically saying every time you cheat is because some woman was did showed you some hoe characteristics, and now that's why you're you was out here cheating. So you do get. You just don't want to accept it. Yeah, because it's bullshit. For you, <laughs> for you. Talk about the people that's lived it, that go through it. This is their thinking, whether you accept it or not. This is their thinking. There's going to be, like I said, there's going to be people out there who are similar to myself in terms of their life experiences that will be able to say, do you know what? Yeah, cool. I can understand that. So do you, do you regret it? When you cheat, do you regret it? I've regretted it before, yeah. Well, and sometimes you don't? Sometimes I don't because it's, it's, sometimes there's, e there's even been vindication in the end when it's like, oh, rah, so you was up to that too. All right, cool, safe. 
you know, because that's what happens. You just in toxic relationships, boy. That's what happens, man. Women are toxic. No, men are toxic as well. We're toxic together. We're all yeah, I agree with that. We're all toxic. <laughs> Let's just that's revisit it. the damn model, man. Like, you're it. toxic, she's toxic, that's he's it. toxic. Let's just be honest. I, I don't think it, I don't I don't feel like it's gonna work though. It's Why? gonna work if you change it'll take your mind. Time. It'll, yeah, take it'll take time. time. I just think that, like you said, what we've we've got too much imprinted in, in our head what we think a relationship should be. And that's when you stop idolizing people's relationships. I stop True. idolizing. Stop them. idolizing like that, that Derek Derek Jackson. Hundred percent. People idolizing him. You come to fit and realize, you know, he's been cheating because relationships are individual. You've got to tailor make your own relationship. That's it, man. And I, I, yeah, man. I mean, I, I, I do agree with that to what too. I think people should do whatever makes them happy. But I feel like because social you media is yourself. such is such a big thing now, mm. everyone is scared of what everyone else is gonna think, if that makes sense. So mm. if I was if people knew that in my relationship, me and my husband like my husband had the past every two years or whatever, mm. or bloody bloody blah, then I'm gonna They're be scared that, yeah. of of me being judged. Do you get what I mean? So a lot of people, like you said, they put up a lot of pretense, they put up all these they make it seem like their relationship's perfect. Mm. And I do think that obviously our grandparents and whatever our parents have cheated and bloody 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 blah. blah, blah um, but I just I don't think that I don't think that's gonna I don't think that will work anytime soon. It's not. I think I think I think society's done such a hard a, you know a great job in terms of resetting your modern individual's mind frame in regards to what a healthy relationship looks like and what mm. you know the attainable goal should look like. Mm. That you'd have to break that down again to mm. be able to rebuild it because you know like you said eight years ago we w these discussions wouldn't be be having. People have been in eight in, years. We'll have different ones. Eight years ago, is our grandparents, and our grandparents are, you know, and our grandparents together. were our grand. Some of them were out there doing a madders. Oh, but they, they're were, they together were wilding. Marriages, isn't that? They were wild. So you find that you got brothers somewhere that you like. What I got a brother? Like from where? Not, not, not in Ghana, boy. Well, guys, we have to wrap up now. This no is, problem. This yeah. is, um, well, it's, I, I feel like it's an ongoing conversation. Mm -hmm. There's so much more to like unravel. You can't, you can't so even much more. Di dissect it. But basically, you're saying trauma caused you to cheat. Your thing is basically we need to just revisit the whole situation. I don't like the way trauma experiences. Okay, great. Um, you <laughs> <laughs> she went impressed by that one. It doesn't matter. It's what it is. And, I don't use that word trauma. And you're saying basically that we just need to revisit the whole situ the whole structural Yeah, the whole relationship structure. Okay, guys. Well, we... We had some thoughts. Um, I mean, I thought I was going to come into this being like, yeah, yeah, like men, you know. But you actually, I understand why women just think men are chat shit sometimes because some of the stuff that was coming out of your mouth. What about it? Trauma. The you women. always use the trauma word. This is what I'm trying to say no, to you. I said my experiences. Oh, yeah, but you basically blamed it on women. They, you, listen, if you're not willing to accept accountability, then we're going to keep getting around in circles. And that's probably a topic for another day. All right, guys. Well, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends um, that men are out here cheating because of trauma. Okay. You're provocative, still. <laughs> we out, gang, gang. Wow. Provocative, still. Trying it. <laughs>